anyway, uh, we're on an abbreviated schedule today since you guys will be selecting your mentors later, so I'll try to get through my comments as quickly as possible. Uh, first of all, during so as the language evaluator, it's my responsibility to listen to the way that language is used during the meeting and make suggestions uh, both about how language would use well and also opportunities for improvement. So uh, I, I apologize that my wife and I were a little bit late this morning, but as I was coming in, we were discussing table topics and I heard a speaker use the phrase picked on. I was picked on to come up to the front of the room. That's already, <laughs> that, that's okay. That, that works, but you should be aware that picked on also has a sort of idiomatic meaning, at least in American English, of being uh, teased or bullied. Uh, everyone, everyone was picking on me in class. It means everyone was teasing me or making fun of me. So instead, you could say, uh, I was chosen or I was selected to come up to the front of the room. Okay, let me ask you a question. What is wrong with that question that I just asked? Ax. Ax, okay, and ax, A-X or A-X-E, is a tool for cutting wood or killing someone in a horror movie. <laughs> ask. A-S-K is to ask a question. I frequently hear Taiwanese say, ask, let me ask you a question. And I'm a little bit, it's just a little bit concerning. So maybe it's S-K, A-S-K, ask. Let me ask you a question, not ask you a question. Uh, Amy, your prepared speech was really outstanding. I was, I was very impressed. When, when I saw the title to my former self, I thought uh, all of you are much too young to be be reflecting back on your lives. You probably want to tell your, your former self. But then when I when I heard your story, uh, I, I really can't believe that a, that a teacher, I think there must be something wrong with the public school system in Taiwan. I think we're going to send our kids to private school. Uh, that's that's really it's a, it's a very powerful story and you told it very well. In fact, I would I don't say this often, I don't think I've ever said this, but I would really encourage you to uh, continue to work on the speech and if you have an opportunity to present in a competition uh, or to share your story more widely, I, I think you should go ahead and do it. Um, the, the content and the, the emotional value and the connection with the audience were all excellent. As, as the language evaluator, I have to say that there were some, some sort of minor errors in English grammar. I won't be able to mention all of them uh, because I'm probably already over time. Uh, but if you, I, I strongly suggest you that you work with someone to uh, flesh out those minor errors and uh, continue to work with the speech because it's, it's a powerful message. I think, I'll, I'll just mention a few of them. You said uh, in 2010, your life was totally collapsed. You would just say, my life collapsed, or my life fell apart. You wouldn't include a helping verb was there. And I heard you say, much more weirder. Of course, we would just say, much weirder. Right. Weirder or much weirder. And you said, what, when you're, when you're going back to the year 2010 to talk to yourself, you said, what should I talk about? I would say, what would I tell her? What would I tell my younger self? I think I'm, uh, no one is timing. You guys are so generous, you never time me. But I'm sure that I've spoken for at least four minutes. So. Uh, I will go ahead and stop at this point. Congratulations on another excellent meeting, and good luck finding your mentors and mentees, and have a wonderful semester in the program.